Alright, hey guys, it's Shadow624. Uh, Rambo recently requested that I make a spreading tutorial in Photoshop on how I make some of my effects. So let's go ahead and open Photoshop. Make a new file of 500 by 500 in pixels. The point of it is that it has to be squared. And I just get rid of the background because it's stupid and I hate it. Make that layer black. Just because. No real reason. I just like that. Now, make a linear gradient with white on top. Now filter distort wave and make it a short wavelength. A couple of gyrations put in there. Something along those lines. Go to filter, filter gallery. Now you want sketch and graphic pen and make it vertical. And do whatever do whatever you want with this. It really doesn't matter that much, but it might compare it depending on what you want to do I'd, I'd go with like something like that and go to filter again blur motion blur definitely want it going 90 degrees and you want the distance to be pretty high something along those lines I would think and uh, that's pretty much it for just making the sprite alright this is how you test this it's pretty easy actually uh, well, wait a second. Uh, duplicate this layer first. And you want to control T. Flip it horizontally. Duplicate the, that layer again. Not the same layer, but the one you just flipped. And then flip this one vertically. Duplicate that layer. And flip it horizontally again. And, like it, uh, you, I, I use the timeline to test mine when I'm making just little poopy effects like this in Photoshop, but um, I have CS6 and my timeline's always down here. If you want your timeline in any other older version, you have to go in here and either go to timeline or animation. So we're going to go ahead and uh, gonna make this blue so we can tell it's screened. And I'm going to screen all these layers. There we go. And make four frames on the timeline those on the first frame, put that on that frame, put that on that frame, and put the last one on that frame. And then you just press play and test it. And yeah, I mean, that kind of, that looks kind of shitty in my opinion, but, I mean, that might look good in your opinion. I've made better, but that's pretty much just how you test it. Alright, moving on to the next thing. Alright, now I'm going to tell you how to make tension lines, which kind of look, would look like this. These are the ones I made for my Toho foot. And they, they kind of look—they look hard to make, but they're really not hard to make at all. So go to File New, and you want you want the width and the height to look something like this. And it's just, just kind of what I usually do. But yeah, and you get a canvas like that. And pretty much do same thing for the beginning, like the speed lines. Now, unlike the speed lines, the weight has to be coming from the bottom this time like so. Now go to distort wave again and you have to do this again uh, yeah something something along those lines oh yeah that looks pretty good actually and go to filter distort polar coordinates so they wrap and then they they kinda wrap around the screen like that and you get this, kind of an inverted looking light flash type thing. And to get rid of this stuff, you crop it, holding Alt and Shift at the same time, drag the corners in. And yeah, you get that monstrosity. So that's pretty much how you make the single sprite for it. Alright, just to show you how it looks, I'm going to animate this out. And it animates, like, literally exactly the same way that the speed lines do. So I'm just going to make... Uh, background layer blue again. No. Duplicate this. Flip it horizontally. Duplicate that. Flip it vertically. Duplicate that. And flip it horizontally again. Now screen all these. Now make four frames again. Put the 
first one there. Second. Third. And fourth. I think I forgot to get rid of it. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like. See, not not too bad in my opinion. It's fairly fairly decently easy to make. Alright, so that's all I'm going to get through today. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you want me to do any other tutorials, again, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.